polycarbonate pellets are first dried at around 130 degrees Celsius for three hours, depending on which optical grade resin is in use, and are fed via a vacuum transport into one end of the injection molder's barrel and also moved to the injection chamber via a large screw inside the barrel, where it solidifies into a molded disc. The metal tamper is then loaded into the machine for replication. This is a cooling section from where the substrate will pass under it to make it normal temperature, to bring it down to normal temperature. From there, it will go into the metallizer where a 60 nanometer sputtering layer, okay, aluminum layer will be composited on it for a purpose of the reflective of the laser. This aluminum layer is exposed to oxidation. Okay. It can form oxidation if exposed to environment. So, a polymer has been dispensed to form a coating on it. So, this is the final product from a replication downline. Okay. From here, the CD is being transferred to printing for offset printing and label printing. Next is the quality control section. This is a quality control department where all the produce titles okay, are brought inside here okay, and checked in various types of players here. We have all available types of players okay, to make sure that the CDs and DVDs produced here are playing in all types of players available in the local market. Okay. So any title that is being produced here we bring back the CDs, play in all of them, and check them whether they are playing well or not. After which the corresponding titles are then printed. So right now we are into packaging. This is the final stage of our production process where the replicated and then printed CDs are count in a counting machine. Okay. Each spindle is of 100 CDs. We make sure that the customer gets exactly what the quantity has been ordered for. So after counting, the spindles okay, are now put on with the shrink films. These shrink films with the spindle along with it are put inside the tunnel where the tunnel will now shrink wrap the rolls into hundreds. These rolls are now packed into the box. Okay. 10 rolls in each box making 1000 CDs there. From here, the goods have been transferred to the customers. While efforts like these help put the creative industry on the right track, it is generally believed that the war against piracy is a daily one, not just in Nigeria, but the world over. Gabriel Okoye believes there is more to be done. We want capacity building, we want film fund for pro film production and we want distribution because the distribution will drive the content. So with your proper distribution, we are going home. Even if you give us money for capacity building, we finish training and we go and make good film. Without a proper distribution, we won't recover our money back. So we are good to, uh, equal to nothing. But one thing they have not addressed is the piracy. The Two agencies that are supposed to be regulating are lacking the financial power or the financial muscle. The, 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 the Copyright Commission called the NCC and the Nigerian Film and Video Censors Board called the Censors Board. They are the major two regulatory agencies for the industry. But they, if you go to them now, they will tell you no logistics to do everything. Imagine a situation I have identified a piracy then and they have no logistics to attack the piracy, the piracy then. I have to go to Ojo Cantonment now to get army to back me up, get the SARS to back me up so that I can attack the piracy then. The last time they went there, the pirates surrounded their vehicles and set it ablaze. At Alabadia, in the open daylight, 
and nothing happened. You have seen the story of half of a yellow sun. The Bank of Industry said, okay, let's come out now and support entertainment industry and give her money to produce half of a yellow song, adapted from Chimamanda Adichie's book. By the time she finished outside, it's already here. Everywhere in the streets. When we go to uh, WIPO, World Intellectual Property Conference, you know, what they tell us is, you don't have to speak because you are violating all the conventions signed, all the treaty signed. Nigeria's, Nigeria is signatory to all the treaty and convention for piracy. But Nigeria is not observing anyone. What is the cost? There is no enforcement power. So the Bank of Industry are trying to raise up or to sponsor professional filmmakers to go back and start making movies. They are going to assist these filmmakers come back on board and then they are going to help in the advocacy for a proper regression. And they have started that work. That's our program today. Thank you for watching. For more information on suitable funding options from the Bank of Industry, log on to boynigeria.com or visit any of their offices closest to you. I'm Adesheo Josh.